Hiya, um, this is going to be a very, very quick overview of the new Arcos 101 Generation 9 tablet. Um, I got this today, I haven't used it much at all um, because I haven't really had a chance. There's the box, um, it's like any Arcos box, it's kind of square and crap really, um, just pretty low quality but there you go. But None of us are terribly interested in the packaging, um, just the usual shows a few bits and pieces anyway it's actually bigger than it needs to be but there you go now um, the tablet itself um, to me I was actually looking forward to this it looks very similar to the previous outgoing 10.1 inch version um, obviously it has a new A9 dual core processor a contentious amount of RAM which we can have a look at now and see what's in it um, this one is clocked at 1 gigahertz which is the only one that's on the market now. Um, it's running on um, Honeycomb 3.2 and uh, let's just get straight into it. Okay, it's it's a fairly standard, uh, it's a fairly standard integration of, um, of Honeycomb. Uh, Arcus have thrown a few of their own bits and pieces on it. Um, the main thing is physically, it's, it's fairly heavy. It's a little bit heavier, I'd say, than the previous version. Build quality is, it's okay. Um, I was hoping for better, but Arcos, over the last couple of years, they're not making stuff of the same quality as they were making six or seven years ago. And I'd hoped for the generation nine to kind of sidestep that and maybe be a bit of a return for form. I know Sharbacks will probably be jumping up and down and going all crazy that someone has, you know, <laughs> has given out about the quality of Arcos, but look, the, the bottom line is the thing creaks a bit. If I tap at the bottom, see the flash on the screen? Okay, you know, yeah, much more pronounced here. There's obviously something touching the back of the LCD. You know, the quality control of a lot of electronic companies would pick up on this. In Arcos's case, you know, we'll probably see, see in six months time, the later versions don't have it. Um, a couple of other quick things. These are capacitive touchscreen, but I can still see the same kind of filament. Um, these are like kind of hexagonal lines running across and back on the actual, uh, obviously it's the capacitive sensors. But again, it, it feels like old tech. You can see it on the iPad, but on the iPad, it's not as pronounced. Now you're not gonna see it on this because obviously it's a, it's a video and it's not terribly good. Um, very, very quickly, the viewing angles are improved. Um, they're certainly better than what they were. On the previous generation, it was fucking awful. Um, it was uh, like it was nearly unviewable when you turned it. Now this one is okay. It's it, it's not bad. The saturation, color saturation is good. The black levels are okay. They probably look look better in the video uh, than they are in real life. But uh, they're not a patch on the iPad 2 or the likes of the um, BlackBerry Playbook or that. Um, now, the main thing any of us are interested in, in these, look, it's a standard enough honeycomb tablet. Um, the, uh, the thing is, I've had a good few of them, and really at this stage, honeycomb tablets are starting to feel a little bit like a, um, they're almost, uh, how would you say, there's very little to differentiate between a good few of them, like the Acer um, A500, you know, Motorola Zoom, like, there's so many of them out there now, and there's no real difference between a lot of them, apart from some of the hardware components that have been used in them. Uh, okay, I don't see anything about the amount of RAM. I assume these guys are running half a gig. Um, most uh, companies at this stage are running a full gigahertz, but or a gigabyte of RAM on them, but yeah, it's our cost now. This is our video playing uh, application, and that's all I'm really gonna concentrate on now, because look, if you want a really good tablet by an iPad, you wanna play back videos, these are what they're, this is really what they're designed for. Uh, the music app's shite. Um, I had a quick look over it, it's not much good. Um, you know, you want good music by a Cowan MP3 player. Um, now, video-wise, uh, I'm quite impressed with these. They play pretty much everything. If we go into the SD card, um, there is an SD card slot on the side. Uh, which is located here, um, and we can play back. Now there's a really nice little feature, um, which was uh, actually in the last version of the firmware on the Generation 8 devices, and enabled you to pick up uh, cover art and film information. So for example, like here is Nomads, which is an old John McTiernan film, and there we go, playing away. 
Okay, so frame rate's decent, color saturation good, contrast, nah, not great, and it's not the film, it's the player. Um, so, look, quick example, we leave that plane, we pull out an iPad, and go to... Okay, that's very 80s. Okay, now, if you see the iPad 2, which is this here, and I'm loading up a... I'm just loading up an MP4 onto it. Uh, go for daytime scene. Okay, you can see, like there is no comparison between those screens. Black levels are piss poor on the Arcos. Uh, it's not just down to the, uh, it's not just down to the actual brightness settings or anything like that. My brightness is down only about a third. If we look at that. She's getting fairly washed out. You know, definitely not an IPS based screen. Arcos, you know, they've done an okay job. I, I'm only giving the screen a 5 out of 10, it's it's not much cop. Like if you look, there's an iPad 2. Let me take the iPad out of circulation for a sec. Let me go into the likes of a Blackberry Playbook. And go into our videos on the Playbook. And play something. Yeah. There we go, that's a tombstone. So I get our brightness up a little bit. Okay. All right, Playbook knocks it for six as well. Now, um, video playback wise, it plays almost everything. Uh, AC3 encoded files need a uh, 30, or sorry, you have to buy a plugin, 15 quid from Arcos. Um, aside from that, everything rolls pretty well. MKV files, MP4s, all 1080p stuff works well. The streaming functions work exceptionally well. Uh, Pandorum, it's a bit of crack. There we go. Uh, and again, that's that's playing really well, like nice and quick. Again, just so you can see the screen, maybe that little bit better. Um, just single speaker on.